He is 100 years old and barely able to stand on his own. Yet here in court, Josef S. is standing trial on charges relating to his three years as an SS guard at the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. He does not believe he should be on trial. The defendant was asked if he had anything to say in response to the charges. He had no comment, but said through his lawyer that at the next court date he would tell us about his own life. The court's interest in his life will concern how it affected the more than 200,000 people who were held at the camp during the Nazi era. Some estimates suggest as many as half of all the prisoners who were brought here died here. Many worked to death, forced to act as slave laborers on starvation rations. Many more were actively murdered, either shot individually or in small numbers. But it was in this particular complex that the SS improvised a gas chamber in which they could murder victims and then burn their bodies in comparative secrecy. The existence of such horrors only became widely known after the war's end. The film of the camps liberated by the Allies became evidence that could be used to bring suspected war criminals to trial. Between 1945 and 1946, that trial was held in Nuremberg. The defendants to plead guilty or not guilty to the charges against them. This is where the most senior Nazis, like Hermann Göring, who among his many crimes ordered the creation of the concentration camps, were brought to justice. For the first time in history, um, heads of state had to be held responsible in front of a tribunal sitting basically right over there and were personally trialed for what they did in their representative functions in, what they, in the crimes committed in a war. Today, historians cite the Nuremberg trials as helping bring about the creation of the International Criminal Court. And while the Nuremberg trials ended 75 years ago this autumn, the memory of the crimes they adjudicated upon lingers on in camps like this. In this precise spot, more than 10,000 Soviet prisoners of war were murdered in just 10 weeks in 1941. Josef S. began working at the camp after this atrocity took place. But in the nearly three years he was here, many thousands of others died at the hands of the SS. His defence is that he was not directly responsible for those deaths. It will be for the court to decide his fate. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, at the former Sachsenhausen concentration camp.